How's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out Exhaust State Comics. I'm Justin, doing a haul for November 23rd. So, all the new books I picked up for November 23rd. I uh, just really appreciate you watching. Uh, definitely check out JLS Comics on Tuesday nights. We do a great show over there. A live show mm, starting about 8, 8.30. There's a link in the description below. Um, we've actually, over on Strictly Comics, we just ended our season. But you can go over there and check out our live shows that have come up. A lot of great topics. Uh, some slab talk, interviews people. It's always a good time. And also definitely check out comicbook.com. Uh, always great articles going up over there. And if you're ever wondering what's coming out that week, on Mondays I put up the new comics list so you can always see what's hitting your local shelves that week. Alright, so that's out of the way. Let's go through the books. And as always, what I do is I'll go through the books I picked up this week, and then after that I will go over the comments from last week's new comic book haul. So thanks for watching again. <laughs> Alright, so... Comic Shop News gave us two things this week. Uh, we got Will Eisner's The Spirit. Looks like uh, Chapter 2. This is The Corpse Makers. The Corpse Makers. So wouldn't that just be The Killers? And then the Comic Shop News 2016 Christmas Special. It's amazing to me like the random characters they put on here. Can you pick them all out? <laughs> But it's kind of random what, what characters we're actually seeing there. Alright. So now, new books. Here we go. First off, we'll go DC Independent and then um, Marvel. So first off, oh, there's a little spot on the cover here. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, issue number 9. Starro! Starro. Oh, that's a really good. I like that page. It's a good one to show there. Robert Benditti. Yeah, and Diddy's doing this one. So, I've I've enjoyed this one. I haven't picked up Green Lanterns, um, just because I've heard good things about it, but I just didn't want that one versus I wanted to read the Hal Jordan and him finding the core and stuff like that. All right, next, issue number five of Titans. Uh, Dan Abnett and Brett Booth still killing it on this book. Wait. Wait a minute. I saw something. Here we go. We'll go with this. Really cool looking. So, of course, you know, Brett Booth's doing the art. It's always good. To me, anyway. All right, next is issue number 11 of The Flash. And let's see how the art looks in this one. Okay. We're still okay in the art here. We had that one issue where things just went kind of crazy for us for whatever reason, but this one's still looking pretty good. If I can find you... Everything's an ad. There's always ads everywhere. So it's Flash. Like I said, up to issue 11. All right. Next, Action Comics. And I thought this cover was really, really cool. Um, Action Comics 968. Dan Jurgens, of course, is doing the writing here. And, I mean, this one just looks, you know, very, very solid book here. Zaid. Oh, Rebirth hardcover. That's kind of cool. That is really cool. I want some Rebirth hardcovers. I guess I'm going to be getting them. Otter Schmidt's back on Green Arrow issue number 12. All right. Okay, I'm going to stop looking. I'll keep it going. Here we go. Detective Comics 945. Spoiler on the cover there. It's your fault, man. Fault, Batman. Everyone near you dies. Everyone near you dies. You're mean, oh, Batman. Oh, we got a little bit of different art going on in this one. Look at the Batmobile! So, it's been a solid, solid book. I've really enjoyed Detective Comics. So, alright, that's all the DC I picked up this week. I know there were more, but that's, that's what I'm down to reading that comes out whatever week you want to call it, every other week. Alright, so Image, I only picked up one book, but it was massive. AD After Death, Scott Snyder, Jeff Lemire. Now this thing is big. Alright, you want a comparison? Here's how we'll do a comparison. It's bigger <laughs> than a comic book. So this one's going to be a little bit harder to store. Um, it's going to be a shelf book or a coffee table book. But... 
I wanted to check it out and just see what the score, what the story, what the story was about. You know, it is Scott Snyder. Uh, this one's, you know, it's not a traditional comic book. Um, it's more of a book with some art in it, and then we actually get into panels. So the book looks like it transitions a few things away. Uh, let's see. So cool stuff there. Cool stuff. Put that up there because it's so large. All right, so now we'll go through Marvel books that I picked up this week. It was actually a pretty decent Marvel week. Um, I was happy about that. So I picked up Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer's Supreme, issue number two. Uh, the first book was pretty okay. So enough, enough um, to the point where I wanted to pick up issue two and just kind of see where it goes. You know what I'm saying? See where it goes. Um, but of course, well, this is Thompson. Thompson's writing this one. Robbie Thompson. What else did I read that he, I can't remember. He's written several things now that I've actually enjoyed, so. And of course, the big book for Marvel this week was Civil War issue number seven. Civil War two issue number seven, sorry. Uh, cool cover here. And I'm just so ready for this. Man, this art looks great in this issue. Look at this. Hmm. Okay. Very solid. Solid. So we'll see how that goes. Like everybody else, I'm I'm really just ready for Civil War Two to be over, since we know who's all. Mm. Took too long. All right. Maybe the book I was most looking forward to this week, or close to it. Ooh, almost dropped it. Ultimates Two, issue number one. So or Ultimate Squared. Um. This is just basically volume two. Because I don't think... Um, what do I not think? I don't think... Does this start at the same point? As we did before. I, yep, it does. Alright, so... New Herald here, Mr. Negative, who's been made into a Herald of Galactus. So, we will see what happens. That last issue kind of left off in an awesome place where we were just like, what? Galactus has a new Herald, and it's the first, like, life bringer Herald, or Herald of Life, you know? All right. Death of X, issue four of four. I'm not sure what gets resolved in this because we go straight into uh, Inhumans versus X-Men after this, which is where we're going to be finding out um, about the death of Cyclops and things like that, I would imagine. So, I, overall, I have not been, like, amazed by this book, but it is what it is, I guess, you know. Just kind of seeing how it's going. Um, and then I picked up The Mighty Thor, issue number 13? Yeah, it's a great book. Um, I'm really excited to see where this one goes, of what she's doing here. Angela's in it, too, all right. So, Jason Aaron, of course, is writing this. You know, pretty much anything he's writing right now. Thor, Unworthy Thor, the uh, regular Doctor Strange series. I think he's really killing it, doing a great job. Then the last Marvel book I picked up this week, and it was just kind of on a whim. Oh, also, there's a book that I didn't get an email saying they picked it up yet. But for whatever reason, my shop got, sh my shop got shorted on Captain Marvel issue number 10. So I just have to go and pick that up whenever they say it came in. So, so that's another one that won't be showing up. But just so I had another book in my hand, I was kind of debating on this one. I picked up Venom issue number one. So we're going to go and see where it was. I, I didn't read too much of Venom Space Knight. Only the first couple issues. So I'm not sure if something changed at the end of that to bring him back to Earth and for all this craziness to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, so some Venom craziness going on there. I would assume it's going to be a miniseries, but I don't know that for sure. But, alright, so that's all the new books. Now let's go through the comments from last week. Alright, first I'll just kind of go down the list of who wrote things, but I appreciate everybody posting. Go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, let me know like what you're reading, what you're liking, like what books did you recently drop? What books are you excited about coming out in the future? 
Let's talk about some comics. Um, all right, first, Black Pole. What's up, Black Pole? Appreciate you posting, man. Uh, oh, he says, always enjoy watching your hauls, Justin. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. This week, this week was like Christmas come early with so many great titles. Most anticipated of the week. This is last week, everybody. Uh, Thanos number one, which I thought was amazing. Uh, Black Hammer number five, Harbinger Renegades number one, and the Ether number one. I picked up the Ether. I haven't read it yet. Um, add to that, Superman number eleven was awesome. Batman number eleven. Pretty damn cool. Um, Killer Be Killed number four. I'm not reading that, man. How is it? it must be pretty good. Um, and a host of others as it was like Comet Candy Day. Ooh, Comet Candy Day. That you Go ahead and like trademark that. Regarding Green Arrow, Percy tweeted today that Green Arrow 12 is going to be the start of a six-issue arc entitled The Emerald Outlaw, which I just saw a preview for in the back of that other book. Um, with Otto Schmidt and Peter Wynn on art. Well, as long as Otto is like doing every other book, I'd be okay with staying on the title. Um, that's going to be followed up with a two-shot bringing in favorite characters back, although he wouldn't say. Uh, then a five-issue arc with art by Fer Oh, man. I wish Otto could just stay. Because what else is Otto doing? Does anybody else know what other book Otto Schmidt's working on, or is he just focused on Green Arrow? I mean, if it just... If it's one of those things where his art takes a minute, that's okay. I really enjoy it. I just kind of want to know. Because if he's doing another book, I want to pick that book up and see how it's going. All right. So thanks a lot, Black Pole. Everybody check out Black Pole. All right. Next, Holger Peterson. Holger says, hello, Justin. Hello, Holger. Uh, it's a great haul, man. I appreciate it. Uh, my favorite books for 1116 were Thanos number one. Yeah. Old Man Logan 13. I'm going to have to pick that up and trade, because I've heard nothing but great things about that old Logan series, or Old Man Logan series. I think I got the first two issues. Maybe I can just go back and get the singles. I'm not sure. Deadpool 22 and Invincible 131. Yep, picked up, picked up Invincible. Besides, I finally managed to read Paper Girls 4 through 10. Wow, I did not realize Paper Girls was already up to 10. That's amazing. Green Valley 1 and 2. Yeah, I'm with you on Green Valley. Uh, both are awesome. Awesome. And He-Man Thundercats number one and two. Thanks for the advice. Awesome, man. I, I hope you enjoyed those. I, I thought they were way... They were both... Or both. Yeah, both. Green Valley was, was not what I expected. I heard about it um, right around the time issue two was coming about. I just kind of missed the first issue, but went back and picked it up. And then, of course, He-Man Thundercats. I've really enjoyed just because I love both of those worlds, you know. All right. Next is... So, thanks a lot, Hoker. Next is Big Elbow. Big Elbow. <laughs> I got it. Big Elbow. Um, thanks a lot for posting, man. I think it's the first time I've seen you uh, post a comment, so I really appreciate that. Said, holy shit. Was that the champion of the universe in Thanos number one? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Looking like a red-headed kind of Lobo. Like, I don't know. He looked awesome. He looked awesome. He looked like a wrestler. And... Yeah, he, he was just, he was huge. It was awesome. Uh, should I haven't seen that character since I was a kid? There's an absolutely awesome Thing comic that came out in the 80s where the champion gathers a bunch of heroes and challenges them in a series of boxing matches. Um, it's a great issue, so much fun. There was even an ish, ish, uh, episode of Dexter's, Dexter's Lab called with the Dial M for Monkey segment based on the issue with freaking Macho Man Randy Savage doing, a cha doing the champion's voice. Yes. Was that the one where... Let me just think if I remember this. Um, champion fought everybody, and his last opponent was the Thing, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but he couldn't beat the Thing because the Thing wouldn't give up. The Thing kept getting back up. No matter what, he would get back up. Um, and he finally just said it was a draw or something like that. I could, I could be completely wrong. Maybe I'm thinking about like the Gladiator or something, but I think it was Champion. So, but let me know, and I really appreciate you for posting, Big Elbow. Strictly Comics. What is up, Edwin? How's it going, man? All right, let me get, let me move this list a little bit. Sorry, guys. All right, Strictly Comics said, uh, just wondering, are you a fan of Batman's chest logo with the bat in yellow outlined in Rebirth? I haven't decided yet whether or not I like it. Um, I don't hate it. I also understand the point of it. Um, because what they said when they first went to the yellow back in the day, around around the emblem, was so that that would that would draw the villains' fire, 
or whoever was you know Batman was fighting, that would catch their eyes. So whatever they were doing would be go go right at his chest, which is where he has the most armor. Um, so I don't. It's okay. It's not my favorite Batman design, but I understand why it's there and what it's for in that term. What what I just spoke of, um, but. I mean, I like Frank Miller's, you know, Dark Knight Returns, Big Bat with nothing but black and gray, too. So, I don't know. I, I can see why they would go that direction with it, and, and I'm okay with it, knowing that it'll probably change once Rebirth is over or whatever, because we are on a, on a countdown, everybody. Don't think that Rebirth is, like, this permanent thing that's just going to be there forever. We're on a countdown. Go back and reread... Um, DC Universe Rebirth, and there's a countdown going on, so we'll see how long it actually takes. Alright, so thanks Edwin, I appreciate that, it was an awesome, awesome question there. What is everybody else's opinion on that? What do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. Like, what do you think about the yellow outline around Batman's emblem and Rebirth? Or since he got his, his uh, memory back, basically, uh, at the end of the New 52. Alright. So, next we got the comic book villain. What is up, comic book villain? Says, yeah, the shop where I live... The shop where I have my sub box at is having a lot of stuff on sale. A lot of stuff on sale for local comic shop day. Local comic shop day. He will be having drawings all day. He will have 50 cent hot dogs and sodas, 50 cent comics. Wow. I will be cleaning up on those. I bet. That'd be awesome. What you what were you able to pick up for fifty cents, man? Uh, he also said he would give. A, uh, he also said that any given time he will shout out like fifteen, thirty, twenty-five, fifty, or seventy-five percent off everything in the store. Um, he said when he does, it comes with the next thirty minutes or so. Uh, I can't wait until Saturday. And yeah, the reborn. I think everyone went after the B cover with Capullo. It is sweet looking. I liked it. Cover sold out the quickest of all of them. Hey, a book you might want to pick up and check out is Yakuza Demon Killers from IDW. Huh. I don't know that one. I'm going to go check it out. Uh, well, great haul, man. Until next time, let's talk to you later. It's Comp Villain. Thanks a lot for posting that, man. I really appreciate it. Got a little lost in there reading about what was going on at your shop on uh, Little Comic Shock Day. Um, but yeah, I kind of agree. That was, you know, the A cover for Reborn was fine. The B cover looked crazy. So, and they were both Capulos. So, all right, next. Aculus, what is up? Aculus, everybody, like I said, check out last week's show on uh, JLS Comics. We kind of opened it up for people to join. Aculus was cool enough to jump on and talk with us for a while. And that was a lot of fun. Glad to have him on there and see what's going on with him. Uh, good to put like a face with a name, you know. All right, so awesome, man. Let's see what you had to say here. He said, Eculus says, enjoy it as, as always, man. I also thought Batman Bane cover was awesome. Wasn't that, wasn't that badass? That was awesome. I haven't been pulling Superman as he's not really my favorite, but you've almost got me talked into it, especially since it includes Batman, right? I mean, you might as well. Um... I don't know, man. Superman's been really good. It's been really... But they got those d Rebirth trades coming! So you could just pick one of those up. Um, goes on to say uh, that Trinity art looks good and kind of makes me wish I, had dropped, I hadn't dropped it after one. I know. It's... I, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a while. Reborn rules. <laughs> I, looked at the, I looked at the Capullo but picked up the... Ollie cover instead, and may have to go back for the Andrews black and white cover. Cheers, man. That's, uh, I understand what you're saying there. There's always so many good covers for that book. Such a good book. Just keeps it going. All right, and the last uh, comment we have here, which, again, thanks, Aculus, I really appreciate. The last is this thing of ours. What's up, this thing of ours? First time I've seen you comment, so I really appreciate you. Uh, it says, uh, good stuff, man. Make comics great again. That's right. That's what we're trying to do, is make comics great again, right? That's what everybody needs in this world, is comics. And then being great. Alright, so... Alright, everybody, that's all the comments. 
went through all the comics I picked up. So like I said, leave a comment. Let me know what you're picking up, what you're reading. Let me know what you think about the yellow around the bat symbol because Strictly Comics, Edwin posted a really great question about what everybody thinks about that. Should they go to just a black bat? Should they get rid of the yellow outline? Should there be more? What should they do? You tell me. All right. Um, but again, hope everybody had a great holiday here in the States if you are. Everybody got super full in Turkey <laughs> and whatever else you had to eat. But uh, like I said, I really appreciate everybody watching, and I hope everybody had a great week just reading new comics. So have a good one, everybody, and I will talk to you next week.